Hey guys, so today I wanted to discuss some drama channels that I support and I don't support. Um, these are in regards to beauty drama, drama sorry, mainly. Um, some of my opinions have sort of changed a little bit on some of these, um, but I will explain my reasoning. And yeah, let's get into it. Let's start with the ones I support. Let's let's be nice in the beginning. So the first one is L Loves Tea. And of course, I'm going to link all these um, channels down below as well if you want to check them out. Um, so L Loves Tea is, yeah, she does a lot of beauty tea. She does a lot of um, things around, you know, homophobic behavior, um, behavior in regards to cruelty to animals and things like that. So she's quite ethical in her um news and drama that she does cover um there is one big twist to her channel which is really cool which is she uses sims so she creates her own sim characters and uses them throughout the videos and i think that that's genius she <laughs> literally makes sims um and she makes you know a jeffree star sim a many mua sim a laura lee sim or whoever she is discussing in the video and they look amazing and I can't imagine like how much time that would take. Um, so I really enjoy that part of her channel. Yeah. Uh, secondly, now this user has not uploaded for about three months. So I don't know what's going on there or what's happened. If there's been a channel issue or anything like that, I'm not on Twitter, so I don't know. Uh, but here for the tea. Now, a lot of people don't like her because they think she's anti Jeffree star. Now, I feel that she does support Manny MUA more than Jeffree Star, but I feel like her news is quite balanced uh, when she does report beauty drama and things like that. Um, but yeah, like I said, she hasn't uploaded for three months. So you might be lacking a little bit in content, uh, but the quality of the content is fantastic. Um, and if you're looking to catch up on some cold tea, uh, definitely go and check her out. Yeah. And the second one is an up-and-comer as well, much like Elle Loves Tea. She is amazing. She reports a lot on Jeffree Star and Jeffrey Char um, James Charles. Sorry, Her name is Nosy Housefrau, and she's from America, I believe. Um, and she's very funny. She's very satirical. She does a lot of satirical type um, things with her channel. Uh, which make it even more interesting and entertaining. She is extremely mature and educated on, um, you know, the topic that she presents. She is very unbiased and she has great insight into um, psychology and things like that. She made a video regard, uh, regarding Glitter Forever 17's mum and that whole situation. She actually made a comment and got personally attacked by Glitter Forever 17's mum, Breland's mum. And she handled that like, like a gem, like just amazing. Um, so if you do check her out, be sure to check out that video in particular. I think you'll love it. Now, the next one is someone that I'm sure if you, you're into tea, you're into this person, most definitely. You would have watched a video of them theirs at least once um, or you're most likely subscribed to them right now. And that person is Tea Spill. So Tea Spill is, uh, from what I can tell, a younger YouTuber um, in the way that uh, they present drama. They're extremely popular. They are a bit on Jeffree Star's side of things, so be careful of that if you're not a huge Jeffree Star fan. She can, or he, I'm not sure if it's she or he, I, I'm not 100% sure, can be a little bit biased um, in that way. So be careful when you watch those ones. And another one that's similar is Sebastian Williams. Now, Sebastian Williams is also quite biased towards Jeffree Star, but um, he is from the Netherlands, I believe. Yeah. Um, and he he's very attractive as well. <laughs> um, but he creates very short drama videos, generally short, um, uses a lot of text on the screen. So if you have hearing issues or things like that, it's really helpful. Um, usually does similar tea to tea spill, but in a more condensed form. Um, so if you're looking for something a bit more quick to watch, definitely go to Sebastian Williams. Yeah. 
Now, another one that hasn't uploaded in quite a while is Truth Hurts with a Z. Uh, it seemed to be a two-person girl duo. I don't know if they're sisters or friends or whatever they might be. Um, they uploaded a lot of stuff regarding Jaclyn Hill um, and all of that drama that went down. Um, their views and the way they put together the video and everything is really cool. Um, they definitely had teething problems in the beginning in the way they were narrating their videos. I mean, I'm new to YouTube. I've probably got issues as well. Um, but they improved the more and more they uploaded. And I really appreciated seeing that progression um, and the honesty in what they were presenting. So I, I would definitely check them out. Yeah. And another one is Samantha Ray, spelled R-A-E. Um, she just does compilations on worst beauty gurus on Instagram and stuff like that, like um, things Instagram beauty gurus do and stuff like that. So she basically compiles a lot of stuff that she sees on Instagram um, and puts it together in a video. Um, and I find it extremely entertaining. The captions are quite funny. Seems to also be quite a younger YouTuber as well, just in the way that they talk and the way that they put things together. Um, but I find it extremely entertaining. Uh, they're almost at 100,000 subscribers. So um, I would recommend going over to Samantha Ray and giving her a subscribe just to help her get over that 100,000 subscriber mark. I think that um, she deserves it. So yeah, I, I would give that a go. Now, the last few that I'm going to mention are pretty much the same sort of thing. So I've got Snoot, Shook, Logical, Petty and Snapped. So they all do very similar content. Their videos are usually very short, one or two minutes. Um, and they do sort of like, you know, such and such being such and such for two minutes or something like that. They do a lot of that sort of content. Um, they usually get a lot of views, but not heaps of subscribers because they're just like really quick videos. Um, but I recommend just subscribing and, and seeing what it's all about. Once again, a lot of those channels are very Jeffree Star biased. Um, so, and James Charles biased as well. So just be aware of that. Now I've got three channels that I don't support and I'm going to be very clear, um, on my reasoning, except for one, because I didn't delve too deeply into that one person's channel. I'll get that one out of the way first. Um, but the first one is Dustin Daly. Now, Dustin Daly, from what I could see, lovely person. Um, they support a lot of YouTubers, especially young YouTubers, Dustin does, which is lovely. Dustin supports L Loves T. Um, but I just don't like the content. I really don't like the way the content's delivered. Um, I don't like the whole let's sit in my living room and make a video type of video. It's not my cup of tea. Um, now, here I am with my um, Android phone, you know, in my room. So I'm not a lot better. But when I want to watch content, um, I'm not, I don't really like watching content where someone's sitting on a couch and there's just books and all sorts of crap in the room that gets me distracted. I It's not my cup of tea. Um, I tried watching a few of his videos and I didn't get past two minutes on any of them. I just found the way he presented things extremely boring. Um, and yeah, not definitely not my cup of tea, so to speak. Now, the second one I don't support is Peter Mon. I used to be a huge Peter Mon fan. I used to support him. I even supported him through the whole John Kuckian saga. I thought that was very unfair, uh, what John Kuckian did to him. Um, and I, I, I think the allegations are completely false and they have no, no traction that nothing's been approved, um, not approved, proved, sorry. Um, yeah, so Peter Mon, I think he's a good person, but I think that his age and experience maybe, um, you know, sort of not stops him, but just, um, makes him have a wall of judgment, I guess, on people. And I feel the way he he sort of unfairly judges a lot of people. Um, and after he got some backlash, after some unfair judgments, he basically was like, well, I'm not going to do drama anymore and I'm just going to take a break from all that and blah, 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 blah. Um, and then, 
you know, he makes, he has about five different channels now and he's always telling you to subscribe to all these other channels and none of them really interest me. Oh, the sun's just gone down. Um, <laughs> the sun's just moved. Um, like he's got a channel called Peter Loves Books and I'm not a book person, so it's not something I'd be interested in. He's got Peterisms where he does motivational speeches and stuff like that. Um, you know, a lot of it isn't what I'm looking for in a drama channel. Um, and, you know, he was more than happy to rake in the funds when there was drama around, especially, you know, Dramageddon and the whole Laura Lee Manny and UA situation. Um, so I think it's sort of, yeah, I just think, and also the last straw for me was seeing the whole Thomas Helbert Peter Mon interview. I mean, Thomas Helbert is definitely not my favorite person on earth, um, but I feel the way Peter Mon conducted that interview was not very good. And if you want to go see it for yourself, go see it for yourself. Um, yeah, not good. And the last one, also, I used to be a big fan of this channel, but I'm not anymore. Um, it's Rich Lux. So I know a lot of people love Rich Lux and think he's amazing. Um, and I used to be in the same boat as well, but he... He does a lot of clickbaity titles, like extremely clickbaity titles, and I got over it pretty quick. Um, he look once again look seems like a great guy, um, but he, yeah, I just I don't think he's look what I'm looking for out of a drama channel. I don't like to be clickbaited. Um, I don't think that you know you should be clickbaiting your content when you don't have drama or tea to spill. I think you need to be honest about your titles and things like that and say, you know, this is a Q and a, or, um, you know, have some truth into what you're putting as a title for your videos. Um, and I just, his whole, you know, let me get my receipts and all this sort of thing. Um, all these mannerisms got really old, really quickly for me. I didn't find it funny anymore. Like I found it extremely funny in the beginning. I was cackling every single video and then it got to a point where it's like, I'm not finding this funny anymore. I'm sorry. I just, it's not my cup of tea anymore. So yeah, those are the drama channels I support and I don't support. Um, all links will be in the description below, including the ones I don't support because I think it's fair. Um, if I'm mentioning someone to put a link um, down below for you guys, I think that's definitely the right thing to do. And yeah, if you're new around here, please consider subscribing to my channel. I've only got uh, um, 37 subscribers right now, I believe. Um, and I'm looking to get 100 by the end of the year. So uh, any help that you can give would be greatly appreciated. Okay, so I'll talk to you in the next video.